Hey guys, so this is going to be a spoiler review of The House Guest by Mark Edwards. So let us begin. So first off, the whole premise or the whole storyline of the book is a little bit stupid, but don't let me, don't let that put you off because it does get really good. The reason why it says it's stupid is basically, um, so the whole premise is this couple are house in this house, right? And this person, this random woman comes along and basically she acts like she knows them. She knows the people who own the house and she said, oh, I didn't know, I forgot they just, the, you know, they went away on holiday and they all this, basically. And basically she said that th- whenever she's around, they can like, she can come around at any time. These people that are house guests don't double check. They just let this woman into the house. <laughs> that's, for me, that's like the stupid part of it. But, oh my God, this book has so many twists and turns. It's unbelievable. So, obviously, this is a spoiler review. So, if you don't want any spoilers, or you want to go into this book without any spoilers, or you haven't read the book and don't want to be spoiled, then don't listen to this review because I want, you know, we're going to go deep dive into this book. So basically this person that just turns up her name's Eden and as I said she can she claims that she knows the people that own the house and everything she gets really friendly with them and everything like that until one night she disappears and she disappears um with um with uh, she disappears with Ruth who is Adam's girlfriend and yeah she disappears one night and Adam's like obviously sick with worry and it all unravels of who really this Eastern girl is and it's it that's where it gets really good so basically this is put into three parts so the first part is all right near the end of the second part and going forward is where it gets really good like it's like a proper film and it's just it's (laughs) it's it's so good like Honestly, it's so good. I will say, though, so basically, Eden is part of a cult. The only thing I will say that isn't believable is usually a cult, when they try to bring or recruit someone in, they don't do it as quickly as they try to do it with Ruth. That's the only thing which is, is like, unbel- to be fair, the whole story is a bit unbelievable. Like, the whole cult and cult and who's involved with everything like is pretty unbelievable. But let's be honest, that bit where to try and recruit Ruth is not is probably the most unbelievable just because with court it, it takes time to groom someone into them basically and they kind of try to rush it with Ruth which was pretty funny not funny but which was kind of pretty accurate the way they did it because because they tried to do it quickly with Ruth it it just didn't happen with Ruth um she wasn't like sucked into the cult because they do it so did it so fast so technically them trying to do it as fast as they did with Ruth and it being unbelievable but the outcome was believable in other words Ruth wasn't sucked into it if, if that makes any sense but oh my god like if they ever made this into a film it would make a really good film but I just love the whole idea of like the court and everything and the fact that um obviously on the way Adam meets somebody who ends up slightly lying about who he is but in turn they end up meeting this woman who's like this person who's anonymous online who shares these like conspiracy theories and everything not conspiracy theories (laughs) this is like a conspiracy theory (laughs) but um she kind of unmasks these cults and she's always kind of like she never she always hides her identity because she believes that if they knew who she was who she was what she looked like and everything she'd be dead but yeah I like that aspect of it as well it's 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 a really good read like it's a really good read as I said I really enjoyed it I I gave it 4.5 out of star out of out of stars out of five is a really good read but what compelled me the most was kind of the whole like cult sort of thing around it and the fact that she's like part of this big call and all these people are involved and everything like that um I think that's what hooked me in I think if it wasn't if she wasn't it wasn't like a cool sort of story sort of thing it was something else maybe probably wouldn't have enjoyed it as much like it was just like a kidnapping or whatever um but because it had the whole um cool um 
root story around it. That's what like kind of really hooked me in near the end. It was it was, it was so good. It's so good. I definitely recommend that you give this book a go. I'm saying that and it's a spoiler review. So if you haven't seen the film, the more, well, it depends. Sometimes I will watch a review that has spoilers in it. Like if it's like a film or a book sometimes. And especially if I'm not sure whether to watch it or not. Like I do, I'm not bothered if it spoils the whole story. I'm not that kind of person. Um, I will still watch it even though I know what the story, the whole story is about and everything and the ending and stuff like that. Even though I've not told you the ending of this book. But either way, if you're watching this and you've not read it, just read it. It's really good. I really enjoy it. As I said, the first part's a bit like, uh, but then it gets really good when you find out like who Eden is and it's like oh wow it's this just this massive <laughs> this massive kind of cult which they claim they're not a cult it, it, it's, it's a good read I just definitely recommend that you give it a go so that's it for this review so bye guys